I'm sure you've been seeing these trendy molded candles around the internet. Today I'm going to show you how to make yours, but not only am I going to do that, I'm going to show you how to add color. I'm going to show you how to get a really perfectly smooth bottom, no wick sticking out in case you want to make this to sell. And also I'm going to give you links to where you can buy the most beautiful mold in the description box below. To start with, you're going to need some molds. I have the shell, the pillar, the famous body molds, and so many other molds that I didn't even show in the video. Now, you're also going to need some braided wick like this. It's a flat wick. You're going to need some rubber bands. I'll show you what you need that for. You're going to need needle. It's not a regular needle. It's like a craft needle. You're going to need pegs or two skewers tied at the end, at both ends, like this. I'm going to show you how to use that in a second. You want to use um, dye blocks, which is what I use to color my wax. You need wax, of course, and something to melt it in and definitely a thermometer. Don't make a candle without a thermometer. By the way, this video is sponsored by my ebook on candle making. I'm going to share more at the end of this video. So you want to start by measuring the amount of wax you need and you want to put it on the double boiler. Make sure that it's a double boiler. And whilst that's melting, you want to thread your needle and then if your mold doesn't come with a hole, you want to pierce it through the center of the mold. If you can't find the center from the outside of the mold, you want to do it from the inside. Just make sure that you get it in the center so that your wick is perfectly in the center of the mold. Some molds already have a hole, but if it doesn't, just pierce it just the way I'm showing you. Now cut the wick and that will be the part that will be the top of your candle. Now for polycarbonate molds like this, which is this uh, material, you will already have a hole typically. So what you want to do is assemble it properly and secure it with a rubber band. You want to thread your wick through and secure it firmly with some blue tack, just some regular blue tack. Press it really firmly because if you don't do that, your wax is going to leak out completely. Now check on your wax and be sure that the temperature is not over 80 degrees. Now once it's around that temperature, add your color. Once you add the color, the dye block, test the color on a white piece of paper. This is what I do all the time. This lets me know the depth of the color because you cannot really see the depth of the color by just looking at it. So test it on a white piece of paper and know that, okay, this is the depth of the color that I'm looking for and mix until you have the color that you want. If you want to add fragrance, you're free to add fragrance, but I won't be adding any fragrance because these kind of candles are not really for fragrance. They're just for really for the beauty. So check that it has dropped to 65 degrees Celsius because that's the perfect temperature to pour for this specific type of wax to pour into your mold. But remember not to pour all the way to the top. Leave at least a quarter of an inch space and then center your wick with the peg or the skewers. Now once it has set a little bit, you want to remove the peg or the skewers, snip the wick, right? And then reheat the wax this time make sure that it is hotter, say 80 degrees Celsius, and then pour over that hardened wax and it helps you fill up that gap and cover the wick perfectly. This is my trick to getting the perfectly smooth bottom with no thread peeking through. Leave it to harden overnight or you can leave it to harden for maybe around six to eight hours and then gently unmold. As you can see, I had trouble with the pillar. Um, it broke, many parts of it broke but that's totally fine just unmold really carefully and you're gonna have the most gorgeous beautiful candles and if you wanted to sell this they'll be absolutely perfect if you enjoyed this video i really want to invite you to learn more about candle making through my book which covers everything you need to know on candle making especially if you want to start a business on candle making it covers the temperatures the types of wicks you should use measuring your wax mixing your fragrances literally everything you know no guesswork anymore no watching multiple videos trying to figure out how do i make a consistently smelling candle every single time just click the link in the description for all the information that you need on everything and you can also subscribe to this channel for more videos like this till next time bye